This is types of people on Family Feud. Let's get straight to it. The person that's too slow. Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. <sighs> oh, fuck. The one who the family is relying on to win the game, and then they blow it. Besides gum, name something people chew on but don't swallow. Steve, I'm gonna say shoelaces. What? <laughs> When your family loses, but you still have to clap and act happy. The person who gives the dumbest answer on the planet, but they're super confident in it. Tell me a place you go where you take off your clothes. Slip and slide. It's up there. Yeah. What, what, what is slip and slide? No, when you're doing a thing and you gotta strip down, slip and slide. What are you talking about? Watch, it's up there, 100% sure. The person who gives a confusing answer. 100 men, tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. Do not pass, go. <laughs> Do not pass, go. Me at home watching the show. Name something of yours that your dog eats and all you can do is wait for it to come out the other end. Shoes. Keys. Keys. Not keys. Shoes, socks, homework. They need to get me on this show. I'm telling you, they gotta get me on here. The person who gives an inappropriate answer. All right, here we go. Name something that might be bouncy. I'm gonna go ahead and say my balls, Steve. <laughs> Right? Hey, man. Let's see. The person who gives a stupid answer. Name someone a man might not want to know that he uses Viagra. Steve, I'm gonna go ahead and say the President of the United States. <laughs> Looking for the President of the United States. <laughs> when you accidentally end your marriage. If you could get rid of one thing in your life for a whole year, what would you choose? I'm gonna go ahead and say, my wife. <laughs> the idiot who says, good answer, right after the person's stupid answer. My boss may have more money than I do, but I got more blank than he does. I'm gonna say money, Steve. Good answer. Good answer. It's up there. When the dumbest person in the family gets sent up to do sudden death and then loses the game for the entire family. Name something people crunch. The Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh. We lost. Steve Harvey when someone gives a dumb answer. <laughs> he said coupon. <laughs> Why the whole must? <laughs> Oh, it came off. The person who's trying to act all charismatic and then gives a long-winded answer. Fill in the blank. All people should have a second blank. Okay, now, now I'm not speaking from personal experience here, but growing up, I was told always to be, you know, faithful. But with that being said, Steve, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say you could have a second spouse or significant other. And again, I'm not speaking for personal experience. I'm speaking for the purposes of the question. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> It's up there. A second spouse or partner. The family who picks the absolute worst person to play fast money. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something your neighbor does for you when you're on vacation. Polish the golf balls. On a scale of one to 10, how prepared are most people to be parents? 10. Fill in the blank, knuckle. Windmill. Name a color you'd find on a Rubik's Cube. Turquoise. Tell me the most expensive thing you own. 1976 Vintage Golf Club. The person who doesn't get to participate because the other family keeps winning all the first question face-offs. The person that brags about their job when Steve Harvey asks what they do. Well, Steve, it is nice to meet you. I am a fourth grade school teacher in the Charles County School District in Southern Maryland. I love my students. I was awarded Teacher of the Year just this past year. Thank you, thank you. And Steve, one of the things that, like, with my career is the guy who gets left hanging. I'm gonna say a, a bottle of Gatorade, Steve. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. It's up there. The family where everyone looks alike. When Steve Harvey reads the Fast Money questions all slow and shit. 20 seconds on the clock. Name a celebrity who is often or always known by one name. Usher. Uh, sure. Name a flavor you'd find in any ice cream shop. Vanilla. Here we go. Uh, 
Dude, there's like 10 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> me whenever a black family wins. We find a way for $20,000. Tell me a state that begins with a vowel. You said Arkansas. We need five. Survey said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The person who keeps saying pass during the fast money round. Besides a hospital, name another place a nurse might get a job. Pass. Besides books, name something you'd find in most school libraries. Pass. Besides fish, name something sold at a tropical fish store. Pass. Besides all pass. Of, besides pass. a hospital, besides pass. books. Okay, well we have to answer one of them. When they give a stupid answer, but it actually ends up being on the board. Name something that a person with long legs might not be able to fit into. I'm gonna go with long pants. <laughs> good answer. Good answer, good answer. Right. Good answer. <laughs> We're looking for them long pants. Told ya, told ya, it's up there, it was up there. The person who says good answer right after their terrible answer. An animal, a farmer's wife says the farmer acts like any baby. Steve, I'm gonna go with spaghetti. Let's go with spaghetti. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Spaghetti. Uh.